YouTube and welcome back to my channel. As you can already tell from the title of this video, today I'm talking about how I bleached my hair at home and turned it white. So a lot of the world right now is practicing social distancing. Here in Italy, we are actually going into our third week of lockdown. All the hairdressers are obviously closed and so I thought that a video like this could be helpful not just for myself because I had to I had to do some things for my hair but also to you guys that might be in the same boat as me and need to recolor your hair and there's no telling when you will be able to so you want to look crazy for the next few weeks or do you want to try to figure it out yourself? If you've been following me for a while you know that I've been doing my own hair for years usually out of necessity and although when I decided to cut my hair off and dye it blonde or now white I initially went to a professional so the first time it was colored and cut professionally but in terms of upkeeping it I've been upkeeping it myself so I had to learn how to bleach my hair without killing it and also coming out with a relatively decent outcome now I will probably end up toning this a little bit more because the whiter parts are a lot more cool toned whereas there's still some like yellows around the bottom and the back so to make the toning a little bit more even i'll probably tone it again but um this is how i go from black to white in one day in a tutorial I'm also leaving you guys all of the materials and where you can find them online so you can order them at home while in self-isolation, but also so you can know which products that I'm using. Aside from the Olaplex, everything else is pretty general and so you can use honestly any bleach powder. You can use any 30 volume developer. You can use any um, dye brush, honestly. But I think the most important thing is to have the Olaplex 1 and 2 if you can get your hands on it because it's not the easiest or most accessible product to get. So yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into how I got my hair, get my hair touched up going from black to white in a day. First of all, the materials that you'll need are a bowl, a hair dye brush, a towel that you don't care much about anymore, a comb, Blue Bleach Powder, 30 Developer, Olaplex 1 and 2, Purple Shampoo and Conditioner, 2 Plastic Hair Caps, and the Manic Panic Toner in Virgin Snow. So the first thing to do is mix together your Bleach Powder, 30 Developer, and Olaplex 1. Follow the directions that come with your bleach to understand the quantities to use. My bleach has a 1 to 3 ratio, meaning 1 parts of bleach powder for 3 parts of developer. For the first round, I used one to two parts of bleach and three to six parts of developer because my hair is so short. Then I added the directed quantity of Olaplex 1. The Olaplex is supposed to reduce or completely prevent the damage that the bleach will do to your hair, so that's why it's added, but it doesn't have any effect on color. Next, apply your bleach. I use this scalp barrier that I found at Tigota to apply to the edges of my edges. This is so the bleach doesn't burn or bleach your skin. I couldn't find this product online, but petroleum jelly or coconut oil should do the same thing. Get a hold of some protective gloves. I actually didn't have any of the mono use ones on hand, so I got a new pair of the general use ones. Maybe these are actually better because you can use them more than once or use them for other things afterwards, for example, cleaning. Using the dye brush and starting from the black hair, carefully but quickly apply the bleach. I eventually start to use my hands because it's just easier and applies the bleach more evenly. Don't forget the nape of your neck and behind your ears. After applying the bleach, you're going to want to cover your scalp with a plastic cap. I didn't have one and so I just used an old plastic bag. I left the bleach to sit on for an hour and then I rinsed it out with cool, lukewarm water. So when I took off the cap, I'll admit it wasn't the result I was looking for and there were even some patches of hair that were still black. But as I was hoping to only bleach my hair once, I decided to proceed to the toning step just to see what I would end up with. To tone, I'm using the Manic Panic Toner in Virgin Snow. I followed the directions to apply it and comb it through my hair and then I let it sit under another plastic bag for 30 minutes. So after toning, the hair still wasn't what I needed it to be. 
not at all, so I decided to bleach it again. Your hair will only lift so much in one sitting, but honestly, when I went to the professionals, they went until my scalp started burning, so as long as my scalp isn't in pain, I'd say it's a good time. So then, I repeated the bleaching and the toning. I mixed more bleach and completely repeated the bleaching and toning steps. The only difference this time was I only left the toner on for 15 minutes instead of 30, and I'll explain why later. I took a shower, washed out the toner, and washed my hair with purple shampoo, followed by Olaplex 2, and then purple conditioner. I dried my hair and put my moisturizing products in, and now this is the finished product. So yeah, you guys, that is it. That's how I went from having really black outgrown roots to having a whole head of white hair. Like I said, I'm probably gonna go in and tone it again because the first time that I bleached it and I toned it completely, you guys saw the effect. The second time, I actually didn't let this, the toner sit in my head for the full time. I said I put it in for half the time because the last time that I bleached my hair, I felt at least in the beginning before it started to fade that it was overtoned. I was seeing a lot of blue in my white hair and I wanted to like uh, not have that happen and I thought that toning it less would give me that effect. But as you can see, toning it less just gave me, I still have the cool white on the top of my head, but I have a lot of warmer yellow below and I don't know if I like it. We'll see how it holds up for the next few days. Maybe it'll fade into something that I think is decent, maybe not. So yeah, I'll probably end up toning the yellow parts of my hair again, but I mean, let's see. I don't think it looks terrible from the back. I'd say for an at-home job that didn't really cost, that did not cost as much as going to the salon, except for the Olaplex. The Olaplex is expensive. But for an at-home job, I'd say that this is pretty good. So yeah, you guys, hope that you found this video helpful and informational as much as it could be since I'm not a professional hairstylist, but hey, we're getting on as we can. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, you guys, I'll see you in my next one. Mwah.